I, uh, well, we got a glacial erratic here. You seen any kind of, well, I don't know, dog man? Any kind of like upright werewolf, mean, angry looking wolf on two legs? Oh, yeah, walking down this road, 10, 11 feet tall. You feel like talking to him? No. You guys, I like how you mind your own business. You're, you're, you're a talkative fella. Place. We're in Granville State Forest in Granville, Massachusetts. About to go check out the river here. You really, really want to check the place out. It's mossy and cool, squatchy. The Berkshires. Uh, we started off at Lake Warmog in Blitzfield uh, County. Uh, we are squatching, but we're on location right now. We're at the parking area of Granville State Forest, Granville, Massachusetts, and um, kind of winding down a, a really long investigation today. Wow, did we get some stuff covered? We didn't get any responses or anything. I, I really kind of thought we would earlier. Um, up around Colebrook, but no, we didn't get anything today, but hey, we got out there though, and that's what it's all about. We'll see you out there. I don't know if you can see the color of the water, um, but it's like tea or weak coffee. That's, um... That's when you see the logs and stuff, that's tannic acid from the decomposing wood and it will stain that water, that color. Now don't let that fool you that you will think, hey, that's dirty water. That water is very clean. In fact, the presence of that tannic acid lets you know that there's a lot of organic compounds in there. There's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of zooplankton, a lot of forage base for these fish. That means this highly oxygenated river, this is a trophy trout stream. That means there's going to, especially in a pool like this big, there's going to be a lot of, lot of trout. Um, I don't know if they stock it with salmon. We're in Massachusetts. I think they discontinued their salmon um, restoration program. Um, but there's definitely going to be trout, smallmouth bass, and all of those aquatic animals that are present in rivers like this running through the Berkshires. Look at this yellow birch here. Look at the massive. Now these trees, when they get big like this, they get, this is a soft wood, they get really brittle and uh, they, they tend to fall down. That's massive for a yellow birch. That's a big boy. And look at this gorge. I mean, wow. They don't let you swim there. If you go further down, I oh no, I don't want to get in trouble. There's no swimming here. Yeah, if you you happen to get wet, sort of trip and fall into the water, yeah, that's okay. Uh, I don't. I mean, this thing butts right up against rock. It's not even a drain pipe. This is like a little puck wedgie thing, or a little, you know, a little earth elemental or something. Or like the little guys, the little hobbit Fiji guys, um, hominids, came in all sizes from small to large. Now, of course, we know, you know, <laughs> No little guys living in there, but that's a little puck wedgie hole if ever there was one. Well, so we're rounding out our investigation. I'm going to do a howl. Um, we're here at Granville State Forest again, Sunday 29th. Man, we just had a great day. That's what it is about squatching. Come on out with us. 
Join us on a campground, even if it is loud. Look at this trail. It's 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 rec nature's reclaiming this paved trail, and I'm just going to end here in this little inlet, uh, this little tributary river that runs into this other river here. See if we get a response. Hey, Rana. Uh, this is for our friend Rana. Um, you remember her from Howard's in, in Torrington. Rana, look at these. I thought these were just like regular, I guess, you know, regular mushrooms, but they're kind of pearlescent. They're almost transparent. That's for our friend Rana for being so cool. Rana, get out squatching with us.